everyone. So today I wanted to address something that has been brought to my attention by several viewers. And it's honestly something I forgot about, but I can remember feeling that way before I started taking Zoloft. I remember being a little bit apprehensive about it, a little nervous, and that's what today's video is about. I'm just sharing a little bit of my story and where I was and where I am now. But in hindsight, I wish I would have taken my antidepressants sooner. I wish I would have started the process sooner. I have been in that position where I was afraid to take them. I was anti-medication. I wanted to do everything as natural as possible. And when that wasn't working and I tried everything else, I just thought, okay, well, this is another thing that I should at least try. Because again, I had tried everything else. When I talked with the psychiatrist, she brought it to my attention that I've been depressed since I was about 13 or 12 years old. And I didn't even know that. I was someone who was just completely clueless about what depression felt like and what it really did to someone. It's hard to explain unless you've gone through it yourself. But again, in all honesty, I wish I would have started this medication sooner because my life has just completely changed. And I just wonder, like, what would it have been like? Like, honestly, you can't go back in time and see. Um, but sometimes I wonder, what would it have been like if I had had this medication sooner? And I just want to give you a little encouraging, gentle nudge if you haven't tried your medication yet. I say go for it because you can always stop the medication or try a different medication. You could always experiment with the dosages. You really just have to have clear communication with your psychiatrist. And honestly, when I think of side effects, the comments that I see the most on these types of videos that I make is comments where someone's saying, I'm afraid of the side effects. That's why I don't want to take my medication. And I can understand that. At the same time, once you put into perspective all drugs have possible side effects, it kind of seems less scary, I think. Like any drug that you take, whether it be, you know, an ibuprofen or if you take some Pepto-Bismol or I like Benadryl because it makes me drowsy. I get the drowsy kind on purpose because sometimes I like to knock myself out to go to sleep. Anything that you consume, it could have some kind of side effects. So I'm just throwing that out there just to think about. When I was at my absolute lowest, I was going through a really, really heavy dip. Honestly, the side effects were of my least concern. I couldn't care less about the side effects because I felt so low. I was more afraid of what I might do if I didn't have some immediate help um, that I needed. I was at the point where I was just so exhausted with feeling really low for a long time and I had thoughts that were very scary on a daily basis. It got to the point where it felt like I didn't have any control whatsoever over my physical actions. Like I felt like, I think I've said this in a previous video, I felt like Phoenix Grey in X-Men, like someone who just completely loses control. It felt like that, but on a self-harm level. So it was really bad. And again, I had tried other things. I had tried everything else. Like I don't drink alcohol. I was limiting my caffeine intake. I worked out, I was meditating, doing some yoga for gentle stretching and I didn't have a big stress like workload on my shoulders at that point. I felt like I was doing everything again I possibly could. So this medication was kind of, it felt like the last option. Like I tried everything else that I could possibly take or try before going to this. And I'm really glad I did. Honestly, if you have any questions, if you're concerned or worried about like long lasting side effects, short side effects, I mean anything please just talk to your mental health professional because they will be able they will be able to answer all of your questions but again i honestly wish i would have started my medication sooner because it has changed everything it has changed everything on top of that i'm also sober so that definitely helps with mood and as i was kind of brainstorming for this video trying to like gather my thoughts thoughts, I can't talk, gather my thoughts and figure this out. I started looking around online and I found some really cool stories you guys have to read um, of other people who were apprehensive about taking their medication, got off of their medication and then got back on their medication. It's really fascinating to read and hear about other people's stories with antidepressants. But I think the more we talk about this and all of the many subtopics it involves, I think it just makes others more comfortable and it takes the stigma away from mental health. It takes the stigma away from this being something that has been looked at as such a negative thing for so long. I think it really is time to change that narrative. And the more we talk about it, the more we bring up our own stories, I think 
that really helps because it makes it more common. It's not so mysterious. So I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already because I like to make these types of videos every week and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, bye.